Peace and blessings. Let us meet on our mat, connect with breath, heart, and body. I have my hand over my heart and the Shuni Mudra, which represents discernment, intuition, patience, awareness, and the intention to purify emotions. In this moment, I invite you to release whatever does not serve. Each time you exhale, ground further. On your inhalation, fill up with the breath of life, abundance, balance, and peace. This is your practice. Hands at heart center. Inhale. Bring the thumbs to the third eye. May our vision be clear. Hands then come down to the mouth. May our words we speak be pure. And then to the heart center. May our heart be open to receive. Release release the hands at the sides of the body. Palms upward. Inhale to raise the arms. And exhale. Palms touch. Inhale. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, fill, and exhale, release the palms to the knees for a few seated cat and cows. Inhale, chin up, open heart, soft shoulders. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, chin up, open heart, squeeze shoulder blades. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine. Find resistance against knee and palm. One more time, inhale. And exhale, round, press against the knees with the palms. Inhale to center, hands to the sides. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, and exhale, release the head back. Head comes forward on the inhalation and hands to heart center. Exhale, arms come straight in front, shoulder height. Parallel with the earth, rotate toward the right. Hands come down to the knee. Inhale to open the heart. Exhale, fold over the right knee. And if it's accessible, allow the palms to wrap around the knee or the forearms and breathe in this space. Release from the opposite side body. And feel free to release the arms. Allow the fingers to tent. Inhale, raise the arms and raise the body. Rotate toward the left. Exhale, palms to the knee. Inhale, chin raises, soft shoulders, and exhale, fold over the left knee. Allow the embrace, if it is accessible, and breathe in this space, releasing from the lower back all through the side body, even the shoulders and neck. Try not to scrunch the back of the neck. Breathe in this space. Allow the arms to release onto the earth, tent the fingers, and find a little more release here through the arms, armpit, and side body. Inhale, raise the arms and body, arms of shoulder height, rotate to center, exhale, palms to the shins. One cat and cow, inhale, open the heart, chin up, exhale, round the spine, resistance against palm and shin. Inhale to center, raising the arm shoulder height in front of the body, reaching on the inhalation. Exhale to release the hands down to the earth and walk forward. Walk the hands forward as you inhale further. Then release, find length in the spine. I'm going to adjust my body a little bit in a moment. So feel free to just breathe right here in this space. Inhale and exhale. Each time you exhale, release a little further. Allow the neck to release, the shoulders, spine to lengthen. Then walk the hands over toward the left. Body is still folded over the legs. Exhale fully. Allow the left arm to release, left forearm, and then open up the heart center, looking forward. Right arm is over the head. Look over toward the arm. And then exhale, look down and find what, how that feels for your neck. Still reaching through the fingers. Then allow the arms to touch the earth as you fold over that left knee and then walk the hands over toward the right, breathing as you transition. Another side body stretch on this side, reaching, grounding the right arm, 
grounding the right forearm press gently against the earth to open the side body reach with the opposite arm and look up exhale fully inhale and exhale look down and notice how does that open up the back of your neck how does that feel in your shoulders inhale and exhale release both arms down to the earth and as you breathe walk the hands toward the center fully exhale here fully release inhale to rise arm shoulder height exhale reach even taller to release the arms down allow the hands to come to the waist as you roll the neck over toward the left left arm comes toward the top of the head gently pulling exhale find the right hand on the shoulder to find gentle resistance to open the neck maybe make a few adjustments to look down a little bit and notice how that feels as you bring your chin toward your chest more toward that left shoulder just find breath there and gently release then roll the head over toward the right same thing so now the right hand comes to the top of the crown and pulls gently left hand on the left shoulder find a little resistance to open up the shoulder release tension from the neck find space maybe look down a little bit and see how that feels for you breathe inhale and exhale to release as you look up and open up the arms to release the hands down to the earth one cat and cow as we look up and release down so i'm just making a little adjustment here extend the legs toward the length of the mat hands under the knees to bend the knees gently hands to the knees and reach the hands down toward the ankles toward the feet inhale adjust the hands under the ankles or the back of the legs exhale to fold direct your chin toward your knees and maybe even move the neck a little bit fine release if you feel any tension there you might want to adjust your hands do what feels right as a gentle forward fold with bent knees you want to find a little resistance against the feet feel free to do that by pulling from the palms into the feet reach the hands forward as you inhale raise the upper body and release the legs and arms as you exhale Let's try that again. Hands onto the knees to raise the knees. Pyramid forward fold and fold down, releasing the arms toward the feet, hands toward the feet, toward the shins, toward the ankle, whatever is accessible to you. It's a gentle fold, so be gentle with yourself. We're still warming up the body. We're just finding a little further release throughout the spine. And again, if you want to find a little resistance by pulling on the feet, feel free to do that gently without doing too much just be really gentle with the body here inhale exhale release even further reach the arms as you inhale to raise the upper body exhale to release the legs and the arms i'm gonna bend by bringing in the left knee left shin toward the chest and rock it out a little bit inhale raise up the left arm exhale bring that left arm under and through under that left leg grab the foot with the right palm and just rock a little bit more find space in the hip flexor be gentle once again and if it's accessible draw that toe toward your ear doesn't have to touch then release the foot toward the inside of the right thigh inhale to reach the arms and exhale to fold gently so we're not going a hundred percent we're not going even 80 percent just a gentle maybe 50 or 60 percent still being very gentle with the body as we fold over the right leg and breathe breathe into the back of the legs breathe into the back the whole spine lower back inhale to raise the arms raise the upper body exhale release the arms and help the knee up to lengthen both legs then bring in the right knee with the right hand and rock it out just kind of hug the shin hug the foot inhale right arm raises then comes under the right leg to bring it in closer and grab the foot with the left palm and rock it out again sending love into the hip flexor and then the 
foot toward the ear. If it touches, good. If not, it's good still. Release the right foot to the inner left thigh. Inhale the arms to reach forward, reach the body, lengthen the spine, exhale to fold again, gentle. We don't really want to bring our chest to the thigh necessarily, you just want a really gentle fold right here. We don't want to do too much. If your hands reach the toes, great. Reach your ankles, reach the, um, the shin, that's perfectly fine. Just be really gentle with yourself, okay? I Inhale, raise up the arms and the upper body. Exhale to release, help the knee up, extend the legs. So then adjust into tabletop position. Ensure that your knees are under your hips, wrists under the shoulders for a few cat and cows. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine. Inhale, chin up. Allow that nice dip in the lower back. Allow the heart to shine through. Exhale, chin to chest, press the hands against the earth to round the spine. Inhale, chin up. And exhale to cat the spine, pressed against the earth, find space and length, then inhale to neutral. Going into bird dog next. Inhale, reach the right arm. Exhale, release the left leg back point with the heel. Now, find strength in your abdominal muscles. Make sure the hips are leveled. Breathe into for stability. Breathe into the body for stability. Draw the ribs toward the body, toward each other. Exhale fully. Hold, like find your balance. Then release the palm and the leg. Inhale, raise the left arm. Exhale, release the right leg back. Point with the heel once again. Activate the abdominals by drawing the navel toward the spine. Corset your ribs toward each other. Reach through the heel, through the fingertips. Find length and strength, stability. Breathe in this space. Find stability and neutral hips. Exhale to release the palm and the knee. Do that again. Reach with the right arm, left leg, and then bring the elbow to the knee. It's toward the center of the body. Inhale, reach. And exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. And then ground the palm, ground the knee. Exhale. Inhale, left le arm extends, right leg extends. And exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, activating the abs. Exhale, elbow to knee. And inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale and reach. Then release on the exhalation. Great job. We're going to open up the knees, allow the toes to touch, and release the hips back toward the heels for child's pose. Allow the arms, palms to reach toward the top of the mat. Allow the forehead to release onto the earth. I had to adjust a little bit because the way I wrapped my hair just didn't really work for me putting my forehead down. But hey, make sure you release fully and don't tighten the back of your neck right here. So just breathe for a little relaxation, a little, little release in the lower back. I'm going to come up a little bit on the inhalation. Adjust, rock a little forward, then rock on back as you exhale for child's pose once again. I'm going to do that one more time. So breathe and release further as your hips reach toward your heels, fingertips toward the top of the mat. Inhale, rock forward, and exhale. Go ahead and release your hips back one more time. So we're going to stay in this position a little bit. So if you need to open up your toes away from each other, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, we're going to rock forward a little bit and thread the left arm through or under the body. So it's under the right arm. Bring our temple, left temple, to the earth. And I like to tent my extended, the fingers of my extended hand. That finds That provides for me more length throughout my arm, throughout the shoulder, throughout the back body, and just breathe in this space. And also, I have a half bind here, so I released. I invite you to release your right palm and just wrap it behind your back. Bring your palm toward the lower back. And breathe in this space. Notice how that feels for you. If you find one hip raising more than the other, just 
bring awareness to that area and level. Ground the fingertips once again on the right hand, ground the palm and release the left arm to meet the right toward the top of the mat so we can make a transition. Right arm slides through. Right temple is on the earth. Left fingertips are tented and find length throughout the arm, throughout the armpits, throughout the side body. And again, you can have a half bind here. So on your next inhalation, feel free to reach the arm up and back. You can bring the palm toward the inside of the right thigh. Again, make sure that the hips stay leveled. So if you feel the one hip raising more than the other, just try to breathe it and move into a neutral position. And breathe. Inhale to reach the arm, right left arm, toward the top of the mat once again, and unravel. Bring the right arm toward the top of the mat. Tent the fingers, find that stretch, and then come again into hands and knees, tabletop, curl the toes, and press up hips, up and back for downward dog. Gonna pedal it out a little bit. Bend opposite knees so you can find a little release in the back of the legs. Breathe as you do so. Activate the toes. Press the fingertips against the earth. Find length throughout the spine. Make sure the ears are in alignment with the shoulders. Find stillness. Inhale onto the toes. Rock forward into a plank position. High plank. So you might have to adjust a little bit right here. Your hands or your feet to find your true downward dog because we're going to rock back into downward dog. So if you had to adjust your feet for downward dog, that, that plank helped you find your true dog. So let's inhale into that plank once again. This should be it. This is where you should not be able, have to move your hands or your feet. Then exhale, downward dog. Again, that should be your true downward dog. Inhale into plank once again. And exhale slowly down into Chaturanga, 90 degree at the elbows. Release the whole body down, release the top of the feet, and bring the palms to the outside of the mat, tented fingers. Inhale, raise the chest. Exhale, right shoulder dips toward the earth. Whether it touches or not, it's okay. Inhale to raise the chest. Exhale, left shoulder toward the mat. Inhale, raise the chest, lengthen the arms. Exhale, right shoulder toward the mat. Now the elbows are raised, so keep your arms active. Inhale, raise, and exhale, left shoulder dips toward the mat. Inhale, press the chest forward, and exhale, release the body down. Hands come toward the chest. Inhale for cobra. Heart shines forward, look forward, feet down, pelvic bone presses into the earth and then go ahead and rise into downward dog take a full inhalation exhale release the right leg right foot between the palms for high lunge and release the left knee down left top of the foot we're adjusting here for a high lunge and we're going to find dynamic movement between lunge and half split on your half split We'll get right back to it. First, we're going to inhale back into that lunge and exhale into the half split. Come onto the heel and find length in the spine. Do not round the spine. Look forward. Inhale, rock into that high lunge once again. Sit into the hips. Find strength and balance. Exhale, hips go back onto the heel, the right foot. Look forward. Inhale into the lunge once again and release both palms down come onto the toes of the left foot and return the right leg back into downward dog exhale fully i'm going to rock forward into plank inhale and exhale chaturanga release the body down all the way release the top of the foot hands toward the top of the mat fingers tent for a cobra a modified cobra Lift the chin gently, exhale to release on down, hands toward the chest, curl the toes and lift the body up into high plank and then down 
dog. Release fully. Inhale, that left leg comes forward, left foot between the palms. Exhale, release the right knee, release the right top of the foot. Adjust the hands and press the body, chest away from the thigh. Find length in the spine, adjust the palms to release the hips back into a half split onto the heel of the left foot. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, half split onto the heel of the left leg. Inhale, lunge. Draw the legs toward each other energetically. Make the hip flexors work. Exhale, half split onto the heel of the left leg once again. Looking forward, do not round the spine. Inhale, lunge. Soften the shoulders. Exhale, half split again onto the heel of the left foot. Inhale, lunge. And ground the hands to curl the right toes. Exhale fully, reach the left leg back, downward dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, raise the left leg for three-legged dog. Bend at the knee as you exhale and open up the hips here a little bit more. Just find release and openness in the hips. Draw those left toes toward the right. Lift the left toes up and then exhale knee toward the elbow inhale lift the leg exhale left knee toward right elbow inhale lift the left leg down third uh, three, uh, three legged dog and exhale release left shin parallel to the top of the mat for pigeon look at the back leg make sure it's straight press the hands into the earth to find length in the spine and when you are ready on your exhalation, slowly release down over the shin. Maybe find a pillow with the forearms. And if this is too much, you can certainly stay onto the hands, onto the palms with the upper body lifted. Find, again, neutral hips here. So draw the hips toward the center so let's say for example if you're rocking a little bit toward the left right you want to move your body closer toward the right to find center inhale the hands onto the earth to lift the upper body curl the right toes reach that left leg up and back exhale release the left leg toward the right to open up for fallen angel Open up the right, right side of the body. Inhale, reach the left leg up and release the toes down for downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. And upward dog. As you inhale, exhale, downward dog. Press the fingers into the earth. Hips go up and back. Inhale, right leg reaches up. For three-legged dog, exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, right leg up. And exhale, bend at the knee. Draw the right toes toward the left to open up the hip. Breathe into the hips. Inhale, reach the right leg up. And exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, left, right leg goes up and back. And exhale, right shin parallel to the top of the mat again pigeon look at the left leg make sure it's straight behind find balance and neutrality in the hips press the hands into the earth to open up the chest find length and fold as you exhale find a pillow with the forearms and breathe here breathe into the hips breathe into the hamstrings Breathe into any part of the body that's asking for more space. Now, this is a challenging pose. Again, if you don't want to fold all the way down, feel free to stay lifted. Inhale onto the fingertips and curl the left toes. Exhale, right leg goes back and up. Exhale, release into down dog for a moment. I had to adjust. And we're going to bring that left leg across toward the left right leg toward the left for fallen angel open up the body 
on the left side and then ground the palm to reach the right leg up toward the sky for three-legged dog and then release into chaturanga release the body all the way down inhale upward dog exhale downward facing dog adjust the toes adjust the feet and breathe throughout the legs the back of the legs breathe throughout the spine and shoulders inhale step forward right foot between the palms raise up the body for warrior two so the right heel intersects with the back arch arms are parallel with the earth and then release them in front of you for shoulder shrugs inhale shoulders up and back squeeze shoulder blades toward each other and down exhale inhale shoulder blade shoulders go up toward the ears exhale squeeze the shoulder blades and release them down raise the arms parallel to the mat and bend into the right knee exhale turn the right palm upward for reverse warrior left arm reaches toward the back leg look toward the right arm as it reaches toward the sky exhale back into warrior two place the right hand toward the inside of the right foot reach the left arm to the sky and then bring it toward the back of uh, the back the lower back or find a bind if that's accessible to you look upward and or not you know you can not bind if it's not in your practice breathe now, if you are in the bind, roll that left shoulder down and maybe look down for a moment to ground the right palm and then roll the left arm across the face toward the ear, side stretch, and then open the body up into warrior two. Ground both palms to step back the right leg for third three-legged dog once again. And chaturanga. Exhale, inhale, upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog breathe inhale raise the left leg left foot between the palms inhale for warrior two left heel intersects with the back arch of the right foot release the arms alongside the body for shoulder shrugs inhale shoulders to ears squeeze shoulder blades down inhale and exhale rounding through the shoulders squeezing the shoulder blades one more time inhale the arms into warrior two look toward the back to make sure you find alignment bend into that left knee turn the left palm upward for reverse warrior right arm palm touches the back leg right leg looking up then exhale release left palm toward the inside of the left foot reach the right hand toward the sky and find a bind if it works for you again if you're in the bind open through the chest through the collarbones and look up find that left shoulder rolled away from the ear look down to ground the left palm next to the left leg and swipe that right arm through in front of the face alongside the right ear look up exhale fully inhale then exhale allow the body to rise into warrior two on that inhalation then cartwheel the hands down to release the left leg up and back and fully release down into chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale find space come down onto the knees as you exhale release the top of the feet i'm gonna go into um one cat and cow right here just to release into the spine so that we can then transition into tiger inhale for bird dog first reaching that right arm forward left leg back and then bend the left leg and reach the right arm to catch the left ankle find resistance against the palm and the ankle as you look forward and then release into bird dog and release the palm down and the foot down the knee excuse me 
reach left arm forward right leg back for bird dog and then bend at the left knee bring the left arm behind to catch the left ankle excuse me right ankle left arm cat palm catches right ankle find resistance and then release into bird dog hand comes down knee comes down inhale and exhale to sit down onto the heels allow the arms to raise on your inhalation shoulder height and release palms to the thighs as you exhale just take a moment to connect with body and breath once again this also this is also called hero's pose in comedic yoga is known as sesh inhale the arm shoulder height to adjust lift the hips off the heels and then curl the toes allow the toes to dig into the earth as you exhale hips meet the heels inhale arms shoulder height exhale palms to the thighs and again take another breath right here another variation of sesh also known as the scribe inhale and exhale inhale to raise the upper body away from the hips arms come up over the head and come and bring the palms down to the lower back press the thumbs into the sacrum and allow the pelvis to press forward the sternum shines up release the head back for camel if it is accessible reach the hands toward the heels but make sure you're pressing your pelvis forward heart is shining up and if you would like to release your head back feel free to do that to come out of it bring the chin toward the chest Raise the upper body, raise the arms, and release the hands down to the mat as you exhale. You can release into child's pose, reaching the hands toward the top of the mat. Heels and hips meet once again. Inhale to tabletop, curl the toes, downward dog, exhale. Inhale onto toes, exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale and exhale inhale look between the palms and exhale step forward or jump forward to come to a seat and bring the hands behind the knees lift the heels shins are parallel to the mat 90 degree angle behind the heel the knees and then grab peace fingers with the big toe i like to reach one leg or extend one leg at a time extend the right leg then bring the feet toward each other then extend the left leg and bring the feet toward each other and if it works for you extend both legs at one time find balance if you need to keep a little bend in the knees that's okay then bring the feet together hands behind the knees navasana boat pose modified boat pose once again open up the heart activate the abs palms up toward the sky slowly as you exhale release the whole body long onto the mat we're slowing things down we're going to cool off a little bit here so let us bend the left knee bring the left ankle over the right thigh draw the right thigh toward the chest right shin it's at 90 degrees then interlace the fingers behind the right thigh so the left arm threads in between and find a release or a stretch for the hamstrings here draw that left knee away from the body and let's release the left foot toward the mat so we're twisting at the lower spine and if it is accessible reach the left palm toward the right ankle and grasp it look toward the left find your right palm pressing against the left thigh for some traction again uh, find the shoulders pressing against the earth then come to center to unwind and bring the right ankle over the left knee left thigh toward the chest interlace the fingers behind the thigh right knee away from the body activate both 
toes, excuse me, the toes of both feet. Find the right left hand on the right thigh and draw the right foot down toward the earth. If the right hand reaches the left ankle, go ahead and grab it. Make sure shoulders are grounded on the earth. Find a gentle spinal twist and traction against the right thigh by pressing the left hand into the thigh. Inhale to unravel, bring the knees toward the chest. Give yourself a beautiful hug. Maybe rock a little bit to massage the lower back. Then grab the outside of the feet for happy baby. Opening the knees toward the mat. You want to rock a little bit here, feel free to do so. Or just find static movement and release. And holding it here. Inhale. And exhale, bring the knees toward each other, ground the feet, knees come and rest against each other for a constructive rest. Open up the arms onto the mat, then slowly release the legs down, the length of the mat, separate the feet. Feel free to place your palms where you might need it, maybe over, excuse me, maybe over your heart, maybe over the womb, or maybe along the sides of the body. And feel free to stay here for as long as needed.